Greetings to all, as the name suggests, it brings our memories of first Satyagraha movement led by Mahatma Gandhi in 1970. About the author, Louis Fisher, who was born in Philadelphia in 1896, he made his career as a journalist and wrote for the New York Times. This chapter, Indigo, is an excerpt from his book, The Life of Mahatma Gandhi by Louis Fisher. It is based on an interview with Mahatma Gandhi and for this interview, he had visited Gandhi's ashram at Sevagram. This slide of Sevagram, Vardha Maharashtra, is the place where the writer had gone for the interview. See, a wonderful slide, a very rare moment. Department of Posts issued a set of commemorative postage stamp on May 13, 2017 on the occasion of centenary of Champaran Satyagraha. This was first Satyagraha movement during Indian independence inspired by Mahatma Gandhi. The title Indigo focuses our attention on the central issue, the exploitation of indigo sharecroppers at the hands of cruel British planters. Britishers compelled them through a long-term agreement to plant indigo on 15% of their land and surrender the entire harvest as rent. The peasants who wanted their money back filed the civil suits and Rajkumar Shukla was the one who persuaded Gandhiji to take up the case of indigo sharecroppers. Hence, the title indigo is highly suggestive and appropriate. This extract highlights the unequal battle between the oppressed and oppressors. It was an attempt to alleviate, that is reduce, the suffering of the poor people of Champaran. They came to realize that they had certain rights in the society and had people to support them as well. The triumph was a campaign against unjust Britishers. This stamp, as you see, is issued by a commemorative postage stamp on Rajkumar Shukla on 18th December 2018 by Department of Posts. It is a tribute to the contribution made by him in the launch of Satyagraha in the year 1917. This slide shows his visit to Rajendra Prasad's house, the leading advocate of Patna. Later, Rajendra Prasad became the president of Congress Party of India and the servants in his house knew Shukla as a peasant who pestered their master to help the indigo sharecroppers they mistook Gandhi to be another peasant. He was not allowed to drink water from the well as they thought Gandhiji was himself an untouchable. In order to gather more information, Gandhiji went to Muzaffarpur. Here, Professor Kriplani and his students received Gandhiji at the station at midnight on 15th April 1917. He was accommodated at Professor Malkhani's house, a government school teacher. It was unique that the Indians at that time showed sympathy to the supporters of home rule. And the news of Gandhiji's arrival spread far and wide and sharecroppers gathered in large number to meet Gandhiji. Gandhiji chided, that is, scolded the lawyers. 
Usually a short question is often asked that why did Gandhi chided the lawyers? So you must have these valid reasons. First, he scolded them for taking high fee. And second, he felt that fear-stricken peasants got little help from court. The real relief was to be free from fear. And last but not the least, rather very important was, it was an unfair deal, the sharecropping agreement. And as they demanded 15%, hence it was irksome to many, so few signed, some engaged lawyers and meanwhile the news of this synthetic indigo reached the peasants. They felt cheated. They became resentful and wanted their money back. How does this issue get resolved and how Gandhiji firmly acts when he faces four protracted interview with Lieutenant Governor will be watching this in my second video. Please do continue watching it. Thank you.